Hello, my name is Carol Williams and I am a graduate student here at Dominican University. I hope to get my graduate degree in library information science with a specialization in school media and eventually want to be a high school librarian. Today we're going to be making friendship bracelets. This is a great craft to do, especially if you're working with younger kids and you're teaching things on friendship or you're just trying to do a fun craft. So what you do is, I already cut these strings, but you're going to start out by cutting out four strings and they usually come in packs that look like this. What you can do is buy the packs at Michael's and they have the wheel that I'm going to be teaching you how to use as well with this. So it's about $16 for the kit that I bought and it's pretty comprehensive. So the first thing you want to do with your four strings is you want to tie them so that they are all four of them lined up and you're going to tie them in the middle like this. I find it easiest to use something to kind of brace them together so you can use a pencil. I'm using scissors because I just cut these so it's easier for me. So you just want to tie a knot. Not great at knots so forgive me for taking a minute to do this. And then the tighter the knot and the closer that it is to the top, the smaller of a loop that you'll have which will be easier for you to have a bracelet that stays on your wrist. So then once you have the knot at the top, you want to actually thread it through your craft wheel, which this is what the craft wheel that came with the kit looks like. A lot of these different patterns you can use to figure out how to make different bracelet patterns. So this one is a diamond pattern. I'm just going to be teaching a very simple basic pattern today. So what you would start doing is you would put the loop part through the middle, and then you want to thread two different colors across from each other. So on this string I have blue and brown. So you would take two of the strands of blue and bring them over here right next to each other. So thread them through each of these. And if you don't feel like buying one of these craft wheels, you can easily make them out of a piece of cardboard, just cutting it into a circle with a smaller circle in the middle and then notches on the ends. So once you have that threaded, you want to thread this across on the other side so making sure that it's as across from it as possible. If you don't get them perfectly parallel, then it's totally fine just because you basically need to make sure that your two lines of string aren't crossing over and that's your main concern. Then you do the same with the other colors. So the brown would go over here. And then your second part would go over here. Okay, so this is how you want to start off with your pattern. What I find helpful is holding the loop from the other side just so that it doesn't slip out. And then once you get everything in this pattern, it's really simple going from there. What you do is take the left string, thread it up and onto the left side. And then once that's done, you take the right string on that same pattern that you just did and bring that down to the right side. And you turn the wheel. You can turn the wheel either direction that you want, it doesn't really matter as long as you keep consistently going in that pattern. So then left to left and right to right. And at first this is a little bit difficult but as you keep going it gets easier. And the first time that I did this you just had to really keep repeating left to left, right to right. And you get faster at it as you keep learning how to do it. So again, left to left right to right. And you basically continue this pattern until you run out of string to use or until you've got the length of bracelet that you want. The first couple times I did this I didn't have a long enough string so that's important to keep in mind too just because you want to be making sure that you're making bracelets that are the right size for the group that you're making them for. I was just testing them out and they would probably fit on about two to four year old wrists and so if you're working with a group of teenagers, for example, you might want to be making sure that you're cutting the string a little long. And that comes with just practice and knowing how long to cut them. It's easier also to cut them longer than you'll need, just so that you can make sure that you can cut off at the end. So when you reach the end of your string, you pull all of the loops out, and you just basically tie them in a knot. I have an example here that's a finished example. So this is what it'll look like when you're finished. You tie off a knot at the end, which is just that same basic knot that you used before. And then also give it a little bit of room, and then tie off another knot on the end here, so that you have enough room 
for the bracelet to end up going through the loop. And then this would be how it would fall on your wrist right here, is you just learn how to pull that through. And here's the bracelet. So once you have that, you'll have a pretty decent bracelet. Another way that I've seen done is you can tie a button at the end of it so that that's also bracing the end of it. But either way that you decide to do it, and if you decide to do more complicated patterns, here is a lovely friendship bracelet for you to use. Thanks for watching.